previous light board of this series, we discussed about the RAN security use case. This light board video is focused around the roaming security use case. Hi, I'm Sachin Verma, Senior Product Manager for Service Provider Solutions here at Palo Alto Networks. So we will talk today um, the roaming security use case and how our next generation security platform can help a mobile network operator protect its network infrastructure from the threats coming from the roaming network. Let's take a look at the various types of attacks and threats over the roaming network. So the first type of attack is the signaling storm. Now there can be different types of signaling storms coming on the different types of signaling protocols like on the GDP uh, control protocol. Now, these can be triggered by a malicious attacker, or these can be triggered by you know a partner uh, operator. Uh, these can be triggered by the different types of the subscriber uh, connected to these partner networks. The second type of threat is the malicious or the abnormal traffic. Now this can be a signaling traffic uh, or this can be a data traffic. And again, um, this abnormal traffic can come from the partner operator, in this case, um, operator one, operator two, uh, or it can be from a malicious uh, attacker which has access to the IPX GRX network. The third type of attack is the this IoT devices initiated attacks. Now, uh, we have seen increased use of IoT devices over the roaming network, and this can potentially lead to a lot of um, abnormalities in the signaling because signaling um, is is really not being meant to the different types of um, the IoT devices. Uh, uh, it's, it's more meant for the um, mobile terminal use case. So um, the increased use of IoT devices can also lead to various security situ situations uh, triggered from these devices. So um, let's take a look uh, more deeper into one of these type of attack. So now the attacker can take access of the IPX GRX network um, and can connect itself to this network. Now it can set up a fraudulent network node, say um, a SGSN or S gateway, and uh, um, it can start, uh, you know, running the GDP eco scan messages. Um, so there will be a scan uh, on the network. Now the scan is to actually learn the GDP um, enabled GDP speaking network node. Um, that is reachable through this GRX IPX network. Once the attacker has the IP details of these network nodes, which um, support uh, GDP protocol, then the attacker can uh, create fraudulent um, abnormal uh, uh, traffic and then can launch this attack on, say, packet gateway of your uh, network. Now the the packet gateway is going to be, um, you know, uh, having issues uh, in giving service because this is all abnormal traffic. Um, there can be instances where, say for example, the GTP module of your packet gateway uh, is going to have these, uh, you know, process related issues or any other type of, um, you know, um, overflow uh, or some other um, issues in the software. 
So um, it's it's um, really uh, a very concerning attack where an attacker having access to the IPX GRX network can affect the availability and service of your network. Now, we can prevent all these types of attacks and can provide you enhanced visibility and can provide prevention to all these different types of attacks over the signaling and data layer using our next generation security platform over the roaming interface. So um, let's take a look at uh, all the different capabilities that we can offer on the roaming and can help you. So um, the first one is GDP stateful inspection. We can actually inspect all the GDP traffic and can look for the various forms of you know, abnormal traffic, um, which is not really um, coming from a legitimated uh, source. We can look into the state of these messages. We can uh, look more deeper into the protocol standard. And the second capability is the GTP protocol validation. Now this is more of a static check where we can look inside the header in the payload and we can apply the detection and prevention capabilities on the GDP control and user traffic coming from your roaming partners. The third capability that we provide is the GTPU content inspection. Now this capability gives you access and visibility to all the IP traffic that is coming inside the GTP tunnels uh, from the IoT devices in the roaming partner or it can be coming from any uh, mobile terminals from your roaming partner. We provide signaling rate limit. So this helps you to protect your network from all the signaling overload situations as well as in addition to all these capabilities with the GTPU content uh, inspection capability, uh, you can also uh, you know, preve prevent uh, the known and the unknown threats, as well as you can uh, detect and prevent the command and control. So as you can see, we not only protect your network from the data layer attacks, we also protect your network from the control layer attacks. And with this uh, evolution of the networks where the roaming has become really important, um, it's really critical to protect the network from these types of attacks and maintain the network availability. So all these different capabilities will help you to protect your network from the different kinds of threats over the roaming network. For more information, you can come to www.poloautonetworks.com and can learn more about our next generation security capabilities and what we have to offer uh, for your requirements for your networks. Thanks for watching.